Hi everyone, we're going to do a buffer in action problem, but this time it's going to be on a diprotic buffer. And remember, the first step in a buffer in action problem is to write a neutralization reaction. So what are we adding to this buffer? They want to know the pH after HCl is being added. So H plus must be a reactant in my neutralization reaction. Maybe I'll write that down. H plus is a reactant. And now what are we adding it to? It's a solution containing oxalic acid and potassium hydrogen oxalate. So we're given information here in the appendix that we're always given. And what kind of a buffer is this? Is this a buffer containing H2A and HA minus? Or is it a buffer containing HA minus and A minus 2? Well, this potassium is a big clue. Potassium is a plus, meaning hydrogen oxalate has got to be HA minus. And then the other species here, oxalic acid, that's got to be H2A. We're adding a strong acid to a buffer containing H2A and HA minus. So now the question is, which one of these forms is going to neutralize that acid? Well, H2A can't neutralize any acid. It's already fully protonated. So it's got to be this HA minus that's neutralizing the H plus to produce even more of the H2A. So now it would be helpful to make an ice table because we've got to figure out how many moles of HA minus were consumed by the H plus and how many more moles of H2A were produced. So we know the concentration of the H plus that was added. We know the volume. So I think that works out to be 0 0.00155 moles of H plus that we're adding. And then how many moles of HA minus? Well, again, we know the concentration, we know the volume. I think that works out to be 0 0.00595 moles. And then how many moles of H2A do we have initially? Again, we know the volume and we know the concentration. I think that's 0 0.0100 moles of H2A initially. So now the reaction takes place, reactants go down, products go up, reactants go down by the moles of H+. And products go up by the moles of H+. So after that reaction occurs, we've consumed all of the H+. We've consumed a little bit of the HA. We have 0.00 four four zero moles of HA left and we've made even more moles of the H2A that 0 0.0115 with an insignificant five moles of H2A. Now we've got something that we can plug into the Henderson Hasselbach. So it'll be pH equals well, since my buffer contains H2A and HA minus, I'm going to be using pKa1. So that's 1.250 plus the log of the moles of HA minus 0 0.00440 moles of HA minus over the moles of H2A 0 0.115 with an insignificant 5 moles of H2A. And let's see what we get when we do the arithmetic. Oh, pretty acidic. 0 0.830 with an insignificant 9. That's the pH that I got. Hope you got the same pH and hope you try more problems like this. Thanks for listening and good luck.